in the last video we have discussed about this playbook and how you can create multiplay playbook and uh, we have already mentioned something about the privilege escalation but uh, since this is very important uh, we will test something more in this video about the privilege escalation and remote user in ansible okay uh, if you check the documentation you can see there are a lot of uh, details like uh, how to use the privilege escalation in ansible and how you can use it properly to do the things so privilege escalation is nothing it's just uh, like um, you have some uh, cases you have to install some packages or you have to restart a service or you have to copy some fi files in system folder or something like that so for all those you need to access the system as sudo or you call it as, uh, the root user or something privileged uh, mode so ansible uh, have already these options and you can set this option either in the ansible configuration in or inside the ansible playbook while running while executing okay let's check uh, ansible on nodes without and with a uh, privileged escalation so we will do something very simple one ansible all then minus m we use a shell the basic shell module and we just execute the command for my okay so ansible already inform okay uh, the local host is wagon is ignore that and node one is running as vagrant and node two uh, running as vagrant okay good okay we will try something instead of nodes we try nodes okay so it's running as wagon so i am enabling the become and you will see the difference now see when i enable become ansible will log into the remote node as vagrant but it's already done the become become means uh, do the privilege escalation so it will become as root by default so you have full control on these items inside the configuration so if you check the default configuration we will check the default one we are not going to edit this one and table dot cfg then we search for become okay not this one okay here you can see there are few parameters uh, or few arguments a uh, few configurations related to uh, privilege escalation the main one is become equal to true become equal to true means ansible user will automatically do the sudo action so it will be it can be sudo it can be any other become options then the method you can see here it defaults is sudo so sudo we all know the sudo command and the become user is root let's say if you have some different users like a sysadmin or uh, some different specific for your organization of course you can mention that user instead of root then become ask password pass is a false means uh, do not ask for the password when you do the sudo but please remember you have to configure this passwordless access on the target machine so i am installing ansible nodes then we use the module m and we will deploy uh, the name equal to httpd state equal to absent so I want to remove a package called HTPD from the nodes. So I am using a module and I pass the parameters as name equal to HTPD and state equal to apps. Let's try this. Okay, we have an error. It says this command has to be run under the root user because the default vagrant user cannot do this action. Okay, so we check the node one uh, SSH node one and we check um, system ctl okay we have to do the sudo on here system ctl status htpd so we will try sudo m list installed htpd okay still there means nothing happened so it's not able to remove the package or do this action with with just normal user so what you will draw we just 
do the become you can put minus b or hyphen become okay let's see what is happening now so yes it's already done so ansible is able to do the removal operation because it's already enabled become okay so yeah he check again uh, no packages installed good let's say i want to install back so i just put present present instead of absent and try again okay it's already installed so we check again yes already installed back ansible not then minus m shell minus a for my id so here we didn't mention that ansible must use the vagrant user to log into the remote node it's already taken because it's a default user we are logging let's say we have another user called uh, something different one so i am creating a new user sudo user add devops sudo password devops sorry sudo password devops okay i set a password so i have a password and i already updated uh, the password so let's say if you want to use a sudo uh, if you want to use the new user instead of the vagrant user so what i have to do is a hyphen hyphen user devops okay it says a uh, permission denied so what it means because by default ansible is trying with a public key we don't have any public key configured with this user so we have to do we have to we have to enter the password so by default ansible asking ansible is not asking for the password so what you can do we try the same ansible ansible.cfg and see pass you can see ask pass is true or as per before so you can enable that by default is disabled here so you have to ask the enable the password so what you can do if you don't know the command just ansible minus help grab pass and you can see the result here you can use minus k or hyphen hyphen ask pass for the connection password so we use the same command but i enable k so it's asking for the password my password is devops good we log in as devops okay why not to change because not to we didn't create the devops user and it's not it's not working it's okay so this is a remote user let's say we don't want to give this uh, devops all those things every time so what you have to do we we are going to edit our ansible dot configuration here we put remote user as vagrant so i give like devops then i enable ask pass equal to true good now we don't need to put these items okay you are good so in the protection setup we are not going to uh, arrange with the password but uh, instead of asking the password we will configure either the ssh keys or you can configure something like uh, encrypted password in, in some variable or in ansible tower credential like that let's say you want to do uh, some kind of different uh, kind of uh, uh, sudo access instead of sudo you want to use su or you want to use pb run or or all these uh, supported options of course you have to mention that inside your ansible configuration so you can either use in okay let's etc ansible ansible.cfg sorry become so here you can see there is a option called become method which we discussed already instead of sudo you can put pb run or you can use any other sudo methods supported you can see it here so we have become become user become method all those things 
So you can enable this become either on the entire play or you can enable inside the task. For example, here we use site.yaml and I put become for all the play actually the entire play. So if instead of become here, I can put let's say I want to do only this task with become so I can put like sorry become true or become true like that. So you can put become inside the play or in the, inside the configuration. So yeah, just uh, make sure where you want to put it and uh, always remember to give the least perm permission instead of enable the become in every task or every play. You will learn more uh, configuration items in the upcoming videos. So now we have a new user on DevOps, a new user called DevOps on Node 1. Let's create the same on Node 2 as well. User add, sorry, sudo user add DevOps. Go password DevOps, DevOps, DevOps. Okay, so I have uh, added the DevOps user on both nodes. Okay, now the DevOps user is available on both nodes, node 1 and node 2, uh, but we are still using SS, uh, password based authentication. So I want to switch to the SSH key based authentication. So what I will do here, we already learned from the previous one, we will do SSH copy ID, then DevOps at node 1 okay your password is devops then node 2 devops now we have we have already configured the ssh key based authentication to both nodes but user is devops now so we don't need to ask for the password anymore so here i will delete this one remote user i keep as uh, devops we try ansible nodes minus m shell minus a for my and id sorry id okay we are good we are devops now now i want to do the become so now we are devops and id also good we try with that become see missing sudo password means devops cannot do sudo means devops cannot do the sudo without password we try here su minus devops we are wagon user now this guy is asking for the password i switch to devops user i'm on not to devops good sudo minus i is asking for the password no it's not working because the devops do not have access to the uh, sudo means devops cannot do the sudo actions so remember these steps if you just enable sudo and not asking for the password, all those things on the ansible level you must make sure you have configured the same on your system level as, as well let's say i want to enable uh, sudo access for devops what we have to do is sudo vim is sudo you can either edit this sudo was file directly sorry no vim fine you can edit this file and add the permission but instead we do like sudo store d slash then we create a new file and inside we called okay user devops need all equal to then all and the no password because we don't want to ask for the password and all commands okay save it now we switch back devops then we minus sudo minus i good we are inside the node 2 as devops and devops already able to do the sudo access so what we have to do dc sudo was d slash devops and we just copy this and exit node 1 sudo vim etc sudo us dot slash devops we are adding the same permission on node 1 as well for the same devops user great now we have access let's try this again 
good we have access to the nodes as devops and devops is able to do the sudo great now we try the same playbook with the uh, uh, devops user and see what is happening so ansible okay let me clear this one ansible playbook I don't know. good no issue it's working if you have uh, uh, let's say if you have any issues on the access or permission check on the sudo access items because for the installation and uh, other service enablement or the file access you need to do the become part not only on the ansible side you have to make sure you configure the same on your server or the managed node side as well Let's say if you want to enable this uh, become in the host variable or the variable level instead of the connection configuration. So we can use like Ansible, sorry, we will do something like inventory. Then here, in, instead of become, we use Ansible underscore become equal to yes. Then Ansible underscore become method equal to sudo yeah just remember that sorry there is a typo so make sure uh, you use the correct uh, or proper uh, connection variable uh, instead of just become uh, the uh, I, I i just noticed so many people may uh, make this mistake uh, instead of the ansible underscore become they put just become only so just uh, remember this difference you have details inside the documentation here you can see here uh, you can put like ansible user then ansible become all those items and also ansible become user so yeah you can refer the official documentation and uh, read more and practice more on the privilege, privilege escalation and the options available that's it for this privilege escalation and remote user in ansible uh, if you have any queries or any questions, please ask in the comment box and I will try my best to reply and clarify this one. And do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for the latest videos and also see the full Ansible course playlist from the video description. Thank you for watching. See you next time with another video.